Welcome to the channel. So today is a pretty cloudy day. It's the start of my least likable season. It's the monsoon. I am a summer guy. I like the sun. Anyways, let's get to today's uh, video. So today we're going to see how to set up a simple CI CD pipeline for Docker images using GitHub Actions. So the first thing is why Docker? Docker is a uh, an amazing piece of technology. It simplifies our packaging and deployment process a lot. So that is why I use Docker and I'm a lazy person. So it's like perfect for me. Once you figure out how to use Docker in one technology, it is quite simple to translate that to other technologies. So my workflow for Python projects is similar to what I use for Golang. That's why I like Docker. Now GitHub Actions, is similar to Jenkins and Jenkins is an open source tool that many people use today to do uh, CI CD. Uh, the way to set up Jenkins is in, in a big organization would be you set up like a master node and then you have multiple Jenkins worker nodes and you can configure what type of worker nodes you want. You could get like a Windows worker node or an Ubuntu or Mac OS. GitHub Actions is almost the same thing. So what they do behind the scene is GitHub gives us a virtual machine to run some of our code on. And it's it's like it they give us Ubuntu, I think Ubuntu, Mac OS, and Windows right now. So if you go to the Actions tab on GitHub, they have a lot of templates for different workflows. So what it does is it tries to analyze your code. So I have some a uh, python project set up over here so because it knows that it's python it's suggesting some python workflows to me okay so you can go through this a lot of things out of the box today we're going to see how to do this with docker so another thing we're going to use is uh, github packages so packages is a place to store your artifacts in our case it's going to be our docker images you could store npm packages or even maven artifacts in it so let's get started let's see how to do that i'm going to show you a pretty simple workflow we will ignore a few things let's start with some settings that we need to do you got to go here and enable this feature i've already done it and then in your project go to the settings tab and scroll down to actions make sure this is checked and scroll down here and make sure this is checked so now what is this github token this is important to understand so since github and github actions are so tightly integrated this token is like an implicit permission that we specify to the workflow to say hey you are allowed to do this this is good because we don't need to create our own keys we don't need to you know maintain separate passwords and secrets and stuff like that so once this is done just hit save and then we are set up next we'll go to this page so there's quite a, a lot of information over here there was a slightly different way to do it earlier using pat which is the personal access token they have updated that so i'm going to take you through the updated workflow uh, this is a good example go through this so this is how to do it for an npm i guess it's a node.js uh, project it has different sections to only build and test and then push images we will not be doing something so complicated today. We'll move down to the much simpler example down here. Okay, I'm just going to copy paste this. We're going to do NKDIR. Okay, and then we'll VI. I need to create a Docker CI ML. I just go up ahead and paste 
the exact same code. We need to modify a few things over here. So the first things is, let's just leave it as demo push. One of the default for GitHub is no longer master. We call it main. So I'll change that. I don't have this. I don't need this right now. We did that. I let the tags be pull request. You want to do that right now. Then a name for our image. Let me change that as well. I'll call it uh, Wash API CI. Oh, IMG. Not the best name. Okay, so this specifies what type of virtual machine we want. So we want an Ubuntu machine. This is the permissions. This is again a built-in GitHub action, which is check out. It essentially checks out your code. Then we do a build image. It's a standard Docker build. So it needs a Docker file. It puts a tag. Then this part is important. So if you have done this before with Docker Hub, you need you know you need to log in. So now over here we are logging in, but to the GitHub packages. They it, they call it GitHub Container Repository or Container Registry. And if you see, we are using the GitHub token over here. So we haven't created it. It's all the implicit permission that we have given. And then the next thing to do is just about getting the image ID, versioning. We won't change any of that. Again, we'll change this to main. And let's just leave everything else the same. So we did not change much. Get status. Yep. And now I'll just go ahead and get push origin main. Now let's head over and see what's happening here. Okay, we go to the actions tab and this is our commit. Push, yep, it's just executing it. So building the image, so these are our steps. Oops, it's done, it's pretty quick. Done. And yep, I think it's done. It passed. All good. Let's so initially I did not have any packages. Let me refresh, and there you have it. It has published our package. And now I can pull from this. So now that we have our package in the Docker packages. Let's try and do a Docker pull. Access denied. That's because we need to do a few more things. We To pull our images, we need to create an access token for ourselves, a personal access token or a PAT. Let's go ahead and do that. So you need to go to settings. Scroll down to developer settings, person access token, generate a new one. Let's say Docker pull. And now what do we want? So a good practice or so the best practice would be to have the minimum required permission. So in our case, we just want to be able to download packages. So that's what we'll do. And 
generic token. I'm going to copy that, go back here. So this is a common way to do it. So when you're setting up your servers to continues to deploy these, this is some of the things you'll have to do. Okay, and then we we'll have uh, so this is the same login step we did when we pushed in the package. Login succeeded. Now we should be able to do the Docker pull. And yep, it's worked. Let's just do one hyphen D eighty eighty. Okay, if I and it works. So that's about it. This was a simple tutorial on setting up CI CD with GitHub Actions and GitHub Packages. So I hope you like it. Thank you.